In May 2018, the World Health Organization made a call to action to eliminate cervical cancer. Let's watch this video from the World Health Organization. In May 2018, we issued a call to action to eliminate cervical cancer. No woman should suffer from a deadly disease that's both preventable and curable. The inequity is especially acute in vulnerable communities and in developing countries where the burden is greatest. At the direction of WHO's member states, we mobilized with countries, partners, experts and advocates to develop a global strategy for elimination, which was adopted by the 73rd World Health Assembly. To set countries on the path towards elimination, by the year 2030, we must aim to achieve the 90-70-90 targets. 90% 90 of girls to be fully vaccinated with the HPV vaccine by age 15. 70% of women to be screened at least twice with a high performance test. 90% of women with pre-cancer or cancer to receive the appropriate care and treatment, including palliative care. We believe that all countries can achieve these ambitious goals. Please join us in the fight to end the inequity and to restore women's dignity. Together, Together we, we can, can eliminate, eliminate cervical cancer. cancer. Among the many different types of cancer, cervical cancer is the only one that can be eliminated. In the Philippines, about 4,000 women die from cervical cancer annually. Roughly about 11 women dying each day to a disease that is entirely preventable. No woman should die from a preventable disease like cervical cancer. But what are the causes why women die from a preventable disease in the Philippines? One of the numerous causes can be attributed to the failure of cervical cancer screening in our country. In 2001, the World Health Organization Health Survey reports only a dismal 7.7% of the entire women screening population attended cervical cancer screening. The World Health Organization requires at least 70% of the total target population be screened by 2030. The question is, can we actually do it? We need a tenfold increase with our current situation. Another problem that is directly involved with our failure to screen is the lack of screening facility and the lack of experts, the doctors, and of treatment facilities, especially in the rural communities. So what now can we do to help eliminate cervical cancer? We are formally introducing our Surveyray AI as a solution to eliminate cervical cancer in the Philippines. Surveyray AI is a colposcope. A colposcope is a magnifying device doctors use to evaluate the cervix in detail. Normally, when a patient is found to have a suspicious lesion or a precancer on via or visual inspection with acetic acid or via positive or an abnormal cells during pap smear or positive for HPV DNA typing, then colposcopy is indicated to check or validate if truly there is a pre-cancer lesion on the cervix that may warrant confirmation using a procedure called cervical biopsy. Using our Surveyray AI, you can put the two steps together, the screening and the validation together to provide you with utmost accuracy. Then you have the artificial intelligence which assists the doctors to read the images and provide results lightning fast out in five minutes. Together, the combination of a colposcope and artificial intelligence provides an overall sensitivity of 93% and specificity of 89% with results out in five minutes. Because the equipment is lightweight and portable, you can do the screening anywhere and at any given time as long as there is internet connection. Furthermore, during the cervical cancer screening, you need not require a doctor on the scene. 
A midwife can be trained to conduct the cervical cancer screening with images taken be interpreted by artificial intelligence. Should it be required to be seen by an obstetrician, the web application can easily be downloaded through the internet and be accessed anytime, anywhere using a mobile phone, a tablet, or a laptop, or a desktop device. Please find a short video of our Culposcope, the Survey AI. Thank you for listening.